Hey everybody, I'm Anthony from Gaijin Bot, and today I'm here with Matthew, also known as Ryman Gaijin. Hey Matthew, welcome. What's going on? You created this video series about how to get a job in Japan, and what I really like about it is you go into a lot of detail about how to get a job. You talk about how to do the resume, what kind of income you're going to make, what kind of different types of jobs there are. Uh, take, a, take us back a little bit. When you first came to Japan, how did you go about finding a job? All right, so this is about seven years ago, so there wasn't many videos about it, mostly blogs, and there wasn't a lot of information. So I, I, I typed in uh, teaching in Japan, and I got Gaijin Pot, and it had all these sites or all these companies, and I applied, and nothing happened. I mean, I got some interviews, but there's like one or two. So why, why is that? Why do you think when you first applied, nothing happened? I went back and I looked at my resume. And in Japan, they want you to send a picture. So the first time I sent a picture with my friends, we were going to the club. And I was just in kind of a, a sweater. It was a nice picture. I sent a nice picture. And on my resume, I. It had all my information, but my email was something like party every day <laughs> at yahoo.com. So then I made a new email, something like Japan is where I want to live or Japan is great at Yahoo. So something more professional. And I, you know, I didn't have a studio, so I just put on a suit, found a white background, did some, some shots, and I picked the best one, showed my mom, like, which one do you like? And then I sent out the same resume, new picture. And then when I woke up the next day, I had all these people saying, oh, yeah, we would like to know more about you. And then I went through the process and I got hired. And then tell me, what is it like teaching in, in Japan? You know, there's a lot of different blogs, people talk about different things. In your experience, what was it like? Um, it's, it's different. <laughs> You know, living in Japan and working in Japan, ah, words can't really express it, but you know, for me, I perform. So when I get in class, it's kind of like I'm performing and I get to teach in class, teach and performing. It's an experience. Uh, for me, I came here with no expectations. I just, I, I'm learning as I go. So I. I got here and I figured I would learn, so I learned something like that. Did the schools train you in, in teaching? Uh, some do, some don't. It's, some schools give you three days training, some will give you seven days, some will just drop you off and say, good luck. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, the worst that will happen is, you know, you're not going to burn the place down. You know, you be, you'll feel awkward. The kids will laugh, but it's nothing where life or death, so they don't really, there's really no problems. Plus, every school is different. They, they can't really train you for every type of situation. Right. You know, some schools, the teachers give you what you need to do at every minute of the day. Some schools, they say, what do you want to do? It really depends. So they just, they know what they're doing. They, they, they trust you enough, they interviewed you, so they know, they feel you're responsible enough, and they send you out there. And then tell me a little bit about what your uh, feelings are about living in Japan. You come from America, you haven't been to Japan before, right? So you've been here, what, seven years now? Seven years. What, what are your thoughts about living in Japan? Japan is, it has its ups, <laughs> it has its downs. <laughs> kind of goes like this and then finally you get your equilibrium right. and you just kind of now some people they just never but for me you know there's so much to do in Japan Tokyo uh, every day you could do something different or go to the same place and see different people it's you know it's exciting it's it's like living in any other big city there's things to do lights cameras action movie life but it does wear off after a year or some point, and it just becomes, you live there. 
you know, some things I'm not really excited about. You know, I just, but uh, it's, I guess it'd be like anything. You know, the first day you go to college, you might feel, oh, this is college, this is this, and then, you know, midway, it's just college. You might like it, you might not. Um, what helped me along the way is the friends I made. You know, I met a lot of musicians, a lot of artists, dancers, and I still talk to them seven years later, so that kind of balances things out. When I don't have a great day, I could tell a friend, and he could say, hey, that's Japan. And, you know. um, you're known as a rhyming gaijin on your YouTube channel. You have a lot of your, your songs that you perform, and you're performing here tonight. Tell me, when you first got to Japan, what was it like getting into the music scene? It was very open. Uh, now, one problem is uh, it's hidden. I say open, but it's hidden. There's not really big signs saying, this is where the music scene is. You have to find it. Someone has to either point you there or you just have to see some kind of advertisement. But when you do make it there, then it's very open. It's, hey, you made it. Kind of like an initiation. Kind of like a Harry Potter. You got to go through the thing and then everybody, oh, you're here. And then, you know, the first time I came, I, I found a little advertisement saying, open mic, everybody's welcome. I said, okay. So I, I went there. I, could, I got lost. The uh, Ruby Room is, you know, but I got lost. I finally get here. I walk through the door. People are kind of looking at me. Were there a lot of rappers uh, at the time? There was no rappers. No rappers. <laughs> Just people with guitars. So open mic, mostly what, Japanese, foreigners? Mostly Japanese with like this one guy. There was like maybe two foreigners that were just here. Doing like what, rock and roll? And rock like and that. roll. Like jamming bands kind of thing. So you rock in, you're hip hop, you're going to rap. Yeah, yeah, Everyone's like, you know, uh, what's this? I put in my CD <laughs> and you know, the music comes on. I'm all like, Drrr, and they're all like, yeah. Uh, what would you say to someone who's watching this video, maybe they're thinking about coming to Japan, looking on Gaijin Pop for a job, what message do you have for them? I would say if you're, well, if you're looking for a job, remember it's a job. So it might be Japan and Tokyo and anime and all the fun things you know, feel like, but they're hiring you for a job, so you're expected to do your nine to five or seven to three or whatever. After that time, you could do whatever you want within the law. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, I always, I say this on my channel, just come with an open mind because if you start thinking about, you know, what this person said or what you heard or they'll start messing with your perception and you might be swayed to think other things. So when I came here, I didn't check what other people said. I didn't. I came here as an open book and just experienced it. I wrote my own story. So come here to write your own story. Don't relive some other people's. Cool. So if you want to check out more of uh, Matthew's channel, his uh, YouTube channel is Rhyming Gaijin. And we're here at the Ruby Room. It's an open mic night. And since you're known as a Rhyming Gaijin, I'm going to put you on the spot. I want you to do some freestyle about getting a job in Japan. All right, Are you ready? Job. All right. All right, so you come into Japan, you be loving this island, and you looking at me, I'm the rhyming gaijin. And every time I'm on the microphone, I drops it hot. You know where I got my first job? On gaijin pot. See, I went there, it was a hit and miss. Because I put the wrong picture, they didn't like that shh. So I had to do it again. And this time I had a nice background with none of my friends. My resume, my email changed. And next time when I went to sleep, the response was insane. I got so many feedback, callbacks, and all that. They loved me. They said, we want you. Matt, I picked the best one and hopped on the plane. Now I'm in Japan today. Rhyming. Chip. <laughs>